We've heard it said before, over 50, you're too old, grumpy, get off my lawn guy. Can't learn new things, you're technically challenged. Yeah, of course, you're going to learn to code, boomer. You can't even use the Domino's app to order a pizza. This sentiment can cause you to doubt yourself, and I get it. I recently received a question I see often on our live YouTube sessions asking, what are your opinions on learning how to program in your 40s? The question is usually, am I too old to learn to code in my 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s? Seemingly, at whatever age, this sentiment can creep into your psyche. The reason you're asking the question is that you have some fears, and I could probably break those fears down into two types. Can I learn it? And will someone hire me? Let's start with, can I learn to code? You have an opportunity that many careers don't offer flexibility and learning. You can start out small. You don't need to commit to a full-time boot camp right away or going to a college. You can learn in blocks, small amounts of time to see if this is right for you. The market for learning to code is absolutely perfect. There's lots of courses and boot camps like Coder Foundry or a college that you may want to go to. And once you're learning, there's also lots of resources available as well, like Stack Overflow or even AI. And there's communities out there like our Discord channel where you can come in and ask for help. The one thing I want you to understand though is this, a college degree is not required to be a software developer. The only people saying that are the people that have them. Plenty of people have broken into the software industry without a college degree. An important aspect to being a developer is you are a lifelong learner. You're never going to go to a community college or a boot camp and learn a set of skills that you're going to use for the next 20 years. This job will continually change. That's because the stacks change, the things that we do change. You need to be committed to learning throughout your career. And that needs to come across in the interview process. During the interview process, you need to communicate that you are a lifelong learner and you love the fact that this job is continually changing and you like learning new things. The most important thing that you need to understand is that it's not about your age, it's about your attitude. Your attitude matters way more if you're 20, 30, 40, or even 50 years old. If you're willing to learn and you put in the time and effort and you're committed to your craft, you have no problems breaking into the software industry. Remember that learning to code is a journey and it's perfectly normal to feel confused or overwhelmed at times. Keep practicing and celebrate your progress along the way. The next fear you probably have is, will someone hire me once I've learned to code? Because you've been told this is a young person's game and ageism is gonna stop you from ever getting a job, even if you have the skill. So let's talk about, are you learning to code for a job or is this just a hobby? If it's just a hobby, the answer is yes. People can learn to code at any age. They just have to put in the time and effort. Now, Coder Foundry, we specialize in taking people from one career and push them into another career as a full-time software developer. There is a strong market for software development. A lot of studies show that it is one of the highest, if not the highest, in-demand job in the U.S. over the next 10 years. And even if you learn to code, but you don't want to change careers, it can help you advance in your current job. Now, the thing I need you to understand is that software development is a skill-based job. And that your age isn't going to be the deciding factor whether they hire you or not. The deciding factor is, can you do the job and can you demonstrate those skills during the interview process? One of the most underrated skills we have is our previous experience, especially when we're in our 40s or 50s. Now, a lot of people will say, it doesn't matter what you used to do, it matters what you can do today. But I can tell you that a lot of software projects fail because software team doesn't understand the business problem they're trying to solve. And that means if you interview for a role and say that you have banking experience or logistics experience in those roles or doing those types of things, you have a leg up in the interview process and you also can add value day one when you come into that job. You have considerable soft skills and experience that you have built up over time. And these are things like being on time, reliable, relatable, strong work ethic, or simply just being nice. And make no mistake, companies highly value these skills. I want to give you one warning during the interview process. You can't come across like you're inflexible or a person that doesn't like change. 
this job requires that you're constantly learning new things. And I've interviewed people that have said, I don't like the web. I don't like to learn new things. And that automatically disqualifies them for the job. You must come across as a person that likes to learn, a lifelong learner, and you embrace change. Remember, it's never too late to learn something new. It's about your attitude and not your age. So if you're thinking about learning to code, don't be afraid to take the plunge, whether in your 30s, your 40s, or your 50s. Basically, be flexible, keep learning, and the opportunities will come. Good luck and keep coding.